a reason to fight the demons of addiction and depression that have ravaged our entire world. And I don't know about you, but I'm sick and tired of losing so many of my friends to the hands of the demons. I can't bear it anymore. And I miss them so very much. I miss Chester, I miss Chris, I miss Scott. I miss Paul Gray from Slipknot, Wayne Static, Prince. He fled from the prodigy, the list goes on and on and on. And just so that you don't think that this is something that is only something that happens to those who are weak, you would notice that every single one of the individuals I mentioned, every single one of them, were very, very powerful in their own right. They were strong. This is not about not being strong enough to withstand it. These things are diseases. It's no different than cancer. It gets you whether you like it or not. It's not up to you, okay? If you fall prey to these, it's not your fault. And to show you that this is not an affliction that is exclusive to the world of entertainment, I'd like to try an experiment with you here tonight if I have your trust. How many of you, by a show of hands, don't be afraid, have dealt with the demons of addiction and depression yourselves or know someone that has? Now take a look around. Keep those hands up. You are not alone. This is a war that we fight together, my brothers and sisters, my blood. And we may lose a battle or two, but we may yet have the opportunity to win the war if we come together as one. If we try to recognize those who are struggling before it's too late. If we just care enough to not be silent. 